you were saying a while ago na uh, for uh, if you want to be a lawyer, you have to go to college muna. And when you have a bachelor's degree, uh, you can go to the law schools. And the mm-hmm. law schools, the more famous ones are Ateneo, San Beda, and UP, mm-hmm. which is the hardest one to get into. They say UP because um, the... Mm-hmm. The student population is lower than the rest. That's true. And there are more people who want to take the exam at UP because the tuition fee is a lot lower than uh, the private schools. Okay. So you see a lot of people really trying to get into UP. Okay, okay. So pag nakapasa ka sa UP, talaga mas maganda ba ang future? Mas is there a possibility hmm. na okay if if someone parang na ano parang uh, they, they they already know that this is uh, a, a a good talent that we should covet because uh, uh, it's from UP it, mas maganda ang, ang chances when you're from UP well i'm from UP so my answer could be biased Uh-oh. but it's okay oh it's okay <laughs> well, there, it's your opinion <laughs> there are law firms that get exclusively from Uh, from UP and Ateneo, ah. for example. There are some ah. law firms that are like that. Oh, oh. They don't like to see the CVs of other, other. Of students from other law schools. Okay. Probably okay. because they're all from there. Na parang, oh, oh. They, they want someone who who they know studied the same way that they did. Oh, oh. That's very good. Uh, and uh, I mean, I've always heard of it. I've always heard mm-hmm. that some law firms only get from certain schools. Mm-hmm. I've never really uh, conversed with anyone and and, and confirmed it. Uh, so the, the the connection that you make in law school it really pays off. The connection you uh, mean, or the- just the camaraderie that you have during law school? Because because this guy, my uh, whose whose father or uncle mm. might be in in a law firm. Uh, you should also not only put premium doon sa pag-graduate mo, but also to be very accessible and friendly to everyone else. Well, I think that's true because you never know. Your even your classmates can Uh-oh. be can be in uh, very important places, okay. and you will all belong to the same profession anyway. So Uh-oh. it's good to have your. Uh, To establish good relations with everyone in your in your school. Oh, so eventually um, it might pay off, no? Yeah. Oh, I, I have one, one question. May may myth kasi sa law school na kailan daw pag nag law school ka, uh, you have to join a fraternity or a sorority. Is that true? That's not true. Okay. There are a lot of students who do not join sororities or fraternities. Oh, they turn out pretty well. Okay. Uh, Pero the uh, ang rumors na narinig ko dati, hindi naman pala rumors. We don't listen to rumors, no. Just one of the the uh, uh, perceptions I heard of the law students is that it's easier to study uh, when you're uh, in a fraternity because para may mga study group ata sila, eh, no. It does it make it easier when there's uh, when you study with and you belong to a fraternity? I think that's also a misconception because uh-huh. there are some people who join a uh-huh. fraternity. There are some men who join the fraternity, uh-huh. and then that's when they start to, you know, lose interest in studying. Uh-huh. Shadow na babarkada with the fraternity. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. But, but it, um, there are also some students na they join the fraternity. They get inspired by their by their peers. Oh, oh. I think depend talaga sa it, it depends on the student. Okay. It depends on the person. Sorry, I'll have to put you on the spot uh-huh. again. Uh, would this is this something you would recommend uh, to join a fraternity, or is it something that okay, be a lone wolf, and uh, it's better if you just do it uh, uh, on your own? Uh, because uh, some are very introverted, no, and they like being alone. They like studying alone. And iba naman sobrang extroverted. Now they have to be in groups. They have to be with someone else. Uh, is this something that you would say? Yeah, go ahead and join a fraternity or just do it by yourself. It it depends on the person. Depends yeah. talaga. Well, no? I have a fraternity. Uh-oh. Uh but it's not a law school fraternity. I joined it when I was still in college uh, before I entered law school. Okay, so UP yeah. naman dalawa lang eh. UP. The other there are only two uh because I I have some friends who are from UP. There's only just uh two two fraternities that are well known in in UP. Tama ba? 
There, there, are, there are a lot of fraternities in UP. Ah, okay. There are a lot. Okay. <laughs> well, sorry, we can edit this out naman. Ah. Na. Pero ang naririnig ko kasi parati usually Upsilon. Uh, ano ba yung isa? Hala, hindi ko na maalala. Uh, Maybe Sigma Rho. Yun, Sigma Rho uh, then. Oo, oh. oh, oh, those were, ano, uh, anong, anong dominant sa law school? Um, I think it's Sigma Rho and Alpha Phi Beta. Yon, Kasi al- these are the talagang law school-based fraternities eh. Alpha, alpha, alpha Phi Beta. beta. Yeah. Is that okay that we mentioned it? Their, the well, the well, fraternity? They're, they're law school fraternities. Oh, oh. They're based in the law school. So. Okay. You know, I mean, in the uh, don't worry, I'm marking it for you already. Yes. Uh, uh, in, in the podcast, is it okay that we mention the fraternities? Okay. The, their mean. names? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's okay. I mean, they're registered in the school, yes, right? Yes, correct. Oh. Oh, so, okay lang. Okay <laughs> lang. I'm memory keeper. So, there are fraternities. Uh-huh. Now, on the classification of the fraternities, if they're good or they're bad, I can't tell you because I've never <laughs> been there. I've never joined the fraternity. Uh, so, oh, oh. But mo haba mo fraternity, Lester? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. one, one thing to consider too in joining a fraternity is um, if you join one fraternity, then um, technically you'll become an enemy of the other fraternity. Oh, oh yun that's yun, true. That's the problem then with joining a fraternity that's oh, oh. really you know, close-knit. Yung talagang melon din mga mortal na kaakoy na fraternity. Oh, oh. Um, you, you inherit the problems of yes. the fraternity. Uh-huh. Ako, I never joined because I was very much introverted nga eh. Mm-hmm. So, sobra akong lone wolf na if uh, the if there was something to do, I'd rather do it by myself. Mm-hmm. So, but again, I'm, I'm not judging any of the fraternities and it's really up to the individual mm-hmm. if you want to join it or not. Ikaw, Lester, parang may fraternity ka. <laughs> Tumitingin ka sa akin. Wala. wala. Uh, oh, oh. So, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, every challenge, no, has, as if when you go to law school, once the, the fraternities or the sororities present themselves, it's really up to the individual. As Raymond was saying, it's up to you whether you want to join or not just don't do it because you're pressured make sure you weigh things uh, if it will be beneficial for you if you like studying as a group kasi mga iba talaga gusto they, they may group may meet up mm-hmm. na you'll go to the coffee shop and you guys will study ako kasi mas preferred ko yung nagbabasa mag isa mm-hmm. so it's really up to you okay so UP Ateneo and San Beda are there and you were saying when it comes to the profession uh, some some law firms uh, actually pick from a certain school ano na what's to expect once you become a a lawyer ano ba usual what's your usual day to day uh, I guess uh, I'll, I'll let you answer that. Ano ba yung usual day to day? Once you wake up, ano ba ang ginagawa ng mga lawyer? Well, for young lawyers that uh, are starting to just practice at a law firm, Uh-oh. usually they're given all kinds of work to expose Uh-oh. them to to what kind of um, field they would like to specialize in later. Uh-huh. So they do a lot of um, research on on all kinds of, of all kinds of. Uh, topics. Okay. Like commercial law or tax or uh, criminal law. Okay. Labor law. So, kumbaga sa doktor, sa general practitioner ka muna. Correct. Correct. Okay. Uh, Doon ka muna sa ER. Lahat na umuubo. <laughs> bantayan mo muna. Oo. Because I think now in in, in law, um, there's a a trend towards specialization already. Okay. Kasi dati may mga lawyers talagang they do everything. Oo. They do everything. Like, um, the criminal cases, labor cases, tax. Oh, oh. Right, right now, they specialize na yung mga, yung mga lawyers. Labor oh. and tax is the is yun na super voluminous work. Diba? Voli- tama ba? Voluminous. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Voluminous. <laughs> oh, so, diba? Yun ang pinakamabigat talaga na trabaho, labor and tax. No? Because they they get the work that they can. Para, so, oh, oh. But uh, I think it's also better to be specializing in a specific field. Oh, oh. Parang doctor din eh, di ba? Oh, oh. Okay. So on that note, Raymond, uh, do you have a specialization? Is there uh, one field of law that you are uh, more uh, focused on now? I'm specializing in intellectual property law. Oh, oh. Uh, so okay. This field is about uh, protect, brand protection. Uh, generally, it's about brand protection. Uh, okay. um, 
we 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 have clients who are brand owners mm-hmm. and their products are being counterfeited. Uh-oh. So that that's uh, the bulk of our work. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, just to let everyone know, actually, how we got to know Raymond is that he helped us out with our iFlex content, and we uh, consulted with him. Uh, when you say you have uh, uh, clients who are brand owners. Uh, who are asking for your help uh, when it comes to intellectual property protection. Ano ba, ano ba ibig sabihin nun in simpler terms? Parang yung mga nag-fake, yung mga nagka-counterfeit, yun, tama ba? Yes, that's correct. Um, well, generally kasi, uh, intellectual property law covers three fields. Okay. Uh, it covers trademarks. These are what you call the yung mga trade trademark registrations, they okay. cover brands, okay, okay. Uh, patents, they cover inventions. Okay, and, this is very good. Okay, go ahead. Copyright, they cover creative works like uh, books or music. Okay, can we yeah. uh, uh, run that back again? <laughs> you were saying uh, trademarks are uh, trademarks are the are how you identify a certain business. Okay, how you yeah. identify a certain business. Yeah. Uh, ano ba yung mga naka-trademark? Ano ba yung examples ng mga trademark? Like for example, Teddy Sage Uh-oh. has a trademark. Oo, meron ba? <laughs> <laughs> meron ba tayong trademark? Well, meron or, 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 registered or, ako sa IP. Uh. Or if not, it's a business name because you Uh-oh. use it to identify your business. That's diba? true. Okay, so, so you Teddy need Sage trademark. Clothing, if, if, it's a, if it's your clothing um, line, then Uh-oh. Teddy Sage Clothing, that's how you identify your business. The trademark. Okay. So that's a business name. Uh-oh. Yeah, so, so it's also a form of intellectual property. Okay, uh-huh. kasi baka mamaya may, may, may iba nang gumamit ang Teddy Sage, tapos on of questionable integrity pa yung content nila. <laughs> or, so at least yun yung trademark mo. That's your recognizing factor. Yes, yes. Okay. That's how people identify you. That's how people Their identify business. you. Uh-huh. Yung patent naman, that is? Patents or inventions. Or okay. These are, uh, these are new and they involve what we call an inventive step. Oo. Yeah. Pero yung patent, di ba uh, global yan? Hindi lang yan sa, sa local or domestic uh, registration. That's mm-hmm. global, no? Yes, correct. Oo. Correct. Because when you invent something, they, they may patent registration pa. Yes. Oo. So you get, that's also one of your your specialty, yung recognizing uh, yung mga patent, kung may infringement. That's one of the fields that I'm trying to study. I'm more focused now on uh, trademarks and trademarks, copyrights. Copyrights. Because okay. patent is very technical. Oh, that's true. Uh, so most our our patent uh, staff uh, who do patent work, they have backgrounds on like science or engineering. Ah, so, makes sense. Okay. So that's also a good field for if if you're a. If you're an undergraduate now who's studying um, engineering Uh-oh. or or chemistry, for example, um, if you go in, if you go on to to study law, uh, you'll be very special because not a lot of lawyers understand the the scientific Uh-oh. language of uh, of, of patents. patents. Yes. Galing, yeah. Okay. So the the third one is the third one is copyright. Okay. These are um, creative works. Uh-oh. The creations of the mind. Uh, uh, These okay. are like yung mga songs, yung mga drawings, okay. uh, books, music. So, anong difference ng copyright sa trademark? Anong, um, anong glaring difference ba niyan? Well, copyright, um, it's a creation of the mind. Uh, uh, um, and it's protected from the moment it's it's created. Uh, like, uh, it's a, like a logo. An example is a song. It's a song, okay. Yeah, it, it, it's a song or a book. Okay, yeah. okay. The ah. trademark is uh, something that is used to identify your your product or your service. Okay, yeah. all right. Uh-huh. For the memory keepers, the young ones. So I hope you heard that. <laughs> uh, so a trademark is used to identify. Ang um, copyright is the creation of the mind. Yes. So if you come up with sa uh, ang art ba is copyright. Yes, it's copyright. Okay. Copyright. Okay. Yeah. So naalala ko na yung pinaka-copyright ko. Yung logo ang pinaka-copyright ko. <laughs> Oo. So it's not, are these, uh, pag nakawag naman sana, pero if you have to consult or go into litigation, pag sinabi po natin litigation, ito yung pupunta ka na ng korte, baka may konting mm-hmm. problema, may konting gusot. Mm-hmm. Pag pupunta ka na ng litigation, tapos nun copyright ang usapan, mabigat ba ang, ang gastusin sa ganyan? 
gastusen. Oo, oh, kasi okay. So, sabihin na natin, may appearance si, si attorney. Uh-huh. Uh, when I say gastusen kasi, um, ano ba duration? Protracted ba yung duration ng mga... When I say protracted, mahaba ba yung duration ng mga cases ng copyright? Kasi um, marami tayong mga artist dito. Yes. Oo. Medyo matagal kasi the, the, a lot of cases are... Well, for copyright, uh, you can either file at the regular courts. Oo. Ito mga trial court, yung mga regional trial court. Oo. Or uh, municipal trial court. Okay. Or you can go to the intellectual property office. Okay. Ito yung specialized government agency that, uh, that handles... Um, intellectual property rights oh, oh. cases. Pero does that have the same bearing or it uh, it has the same weight as when you go to an RTC? Uh, you can either go to a court or to intellectual property office? Yes, it has the same bearing oh, but oh. Um, the courts can impose a penalty of imprisonment. Wow. So, uh, grabe yun. I think, uh, I think that, that the IPO doesn't Oh, can, cannot cannot impose the when is the the penalty of imprisonment bigat no na sirik pag kamang opya hindi pwede yon when is the <laughs> when is the penalty of imprisonment uh, ano to by by ano na to by verdict na or 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 pag na penalize you already go through the 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 the, the course of the trial mm-hmm. Ah, uh, okay. So pag talagang pinpointed na kinopya mo, mm-hmm. uh, you ha, there there are instances that you are uh, penalized with uh, uh, ano to? You're penalized by imprisonment. Yes. Wow. Well, but for first offenders, I think the there's still a penalty of um, imprisonment, but there's called the probation law. Okay. So ano you can apply law? for probation. So you don't be in prison. So ano parang uh, ano to uh, social service or or you you just do community hours parang ganon? Uh, you just have to report uh, to a government official. I think I'm not sure if it's with the trial oh. court no Uh-oh. or the, the probation officer. Okay. Tapos parang you just have to show him that you know you're. You're doing fine. You're not uh, doing anything bad. Ah, uh, so you just let them know. So when is it a clear-cut infringement or an infraction? Na uh, sa copyright. Let's say yung Teddy Sage logo. When mm-hmm. ang ang balita ko kasi hindi naman balita. What I I heard is that um you change 10% of anything. It's not copyright anymore. Hmm. Tama ba yun? I'm not sure about the percentage, no, but. Oh. Um, in copyright, you just have to copy what, what they call a substantial portion of the work. You don't have to, like for example, it's a song. You don't have to copy the whole song. But if, if there's a portion there that's, uh, you know, I think, identifiable or maybe a, a popular, mm-hmm. like your chorus, for example, Kinayamo, that's already a substantial portion of your work. So I understand that more now. Uh, would you recommend this field to lawyers who are starting? Would you recommend this, uh, this, this, yung, yung uh, uh, IP, no? Mm-hmm. What, what exactly do you call your field? An, an, intellectual property law. Intellectual property law. Yeah. Is this something you would recommend to the young ones who are starting? I would, for the young lawyers, I would recommend that they try everything first mm-hmm. before they pick what they, what they want to specialize in. Ah, that's uh, true. That's they true. have to. It's also for their learning. And, okay. And saying naman if I think if too early they specialize already. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But for the like young lawyers, like for example, if you're a science graduate, uh-uh. maybe when you're when you're a young lawyer, you're already um, are focused. I think I'm going to be a patent lawyer. Uh uh-uh. But it would be nice also for you to try other fields first. Okay, para at least you'll know is this something I really want to yeah. do. Uh, very similar yung yung advice ni, ni Raymond with uh, Chef Carlo. No? Uh, you you have to figure out first mm-hmm. uh, what it is that you really like doing. Mm-hmm. Kasi you can't just immediately specialize. Baka naman hindi mo pala gusto ang uh, makinig ng music. As a naasar ka or nari, naki magbasa ng libro galit na galit ka. No? So you have to figure out first. Okay, uh, Raymond, uh, just a quick question. Kasi before we, we uh, wrap up, uh, um, sa news nakikita ko maraming nagbabar exam at the age of 60, merong 70. Uh, 
for the people who do that, may career path pa ba uh, when you uh, take law at that age? Well, that's a good question because one of the things that attracted me to studying law Uh-oh. was yung longevity. Like, you can you can work as a lawyer forever and, and uh, until until you die. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, parang walang retirement age kasi. Na you can just go somewhere and then Uh-oh. you know you, you just ha- actually there was a judge who I spoke to when I was young. Okay. He said, "Oh, um, anak, it's it's good to be a lawyer because you just need to have a typewriter. Uh-oh. May trabaho ka na." Okay. So th- that stuck to me. Para, oh, even when I'm old, I can still do, I can still be productive. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Pero for the ones who graduate at uh, or or <coughs> take the bar at, at mm-hmm. mga 60 or 70, pero mm-hmm. mga hire sa kanila, is there a, a, a law firm out there that's willing to invest? Hmm. Um, law firm, I'm not sure. Oh. Because um, I think. The law firms are looking for young, for young professionals who, uh-uh. you know, mga gang ho type na they uh-uh. can work really long hours and uh-uh. put in a lot of billable hours for for the law firm. Ano yung long hours? Uh, Bakit define naman natin? Ano ba ang long hours sa lawyers? <laughs> well, there are law firms that have quotas too. Like uh-uh. they say, um, they they have uh, they require the lawyer to make like for example five or six uh, billable hours. Uh-oh. per day. That means that's five hours or six hours of working that you can charge to a client. Oh, wow. So, may mga requirements na ganun. And, um, it helps the law firm Uh-oh. if you work a lot. Kasi uh, long hours. Nga, mga Madami to, kang nacha-charge. Eh. Mga 18 hours. Ganyan. Wow. May mga ganun. Oh. It, it happens sometimes when there are really a lot of, when there's a lot of work and there are really a uh, lot of cases that you have to, to handle. Attend, to oh. handle. Oh, just a quick question. For the the millennials and the Gen Z, para malaman lang nila, uh, you were you were talking about billable hours mm-hmm. uh, per hour, ba? On just give me a ballpark figure, para I don't have to uh, pin down such an exact <laughs> amount. Ano ba ang ballpark figure when uh, you uh, when when a lawyer spends an hour with you? Well, just to clarify about Uh-oh. the billable hours, uh, uh, the billable hours, it yung nabibil mo. Uh, This does not go to the lawyer. This goes to the law, law office. Firm. Yes. Uh, but it depends on the law firm again. The billable hours can go up. Like it depends on your rank in the office. Eh. Uh, If you're a junior associate, for example, okay. uh, some law firms maybe they charge like four thousand, five thousand per hour. Four thousand five. And then you go to the senior partner. Yan ano nyan? Medyo malaki na yung charge nyan, like double. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, or more. Uh, okay, kasi mas specialized na yes. kayo, mas talagang uh, bihasa na at talagang uh, hasang-hasa na sa legal terms, mm-hmm. no? Makita pa lang yung first sentence, alam na agad kung anong saan pupunta yung uh, dokumento. Okay, so 4,000 to, uh, sorry, the 4,000 to 5,000, that's for junior associate? Or sorry, was that? Uh, I think that's uh, that that's for the junior associate. Uh oh. In in some law firms, huh? in some law yeah, that, firms, that's a ballpark figure. Ah uh, okay. Of, uh, of the charge. For uh, of the charge. Kaya kayo mga millennials sa Gen Z magpakabait kayo at mahirap na baka mamaya when you need a lawyer ang available lang sa inyo ay junior associate na <laughs> no at uh, ang 4000 to 5000 per hour napakabigat na noon no isang Nike isang sapatos na yun eh makakabiligan uh, no tas pag 3 uh, uh, hours pa ang uh, trabaho sa inyo nako ang sakit naman noon one month pay na ng and, ibang tao yun mm. and just to add then kasi the bulk of the work is uh-huh. done by the young lawyer eh. uh-huh. so yung si like si senior partner he just reviews uh-huh. kasi mabigat din for the client if the senior partner does all the work like uh-huh. mag charge siya ng 8 hours ang laki ng abot and just for you know uh-huh. need, need ng charge ni senior partner grabe how long does it take for you to become a senior partner hmm It depends again on the law firm, but Uh-oh. I think the the usual is maybe eight years, eight, ten years to become a senior partner. Eight to ten years, yeah. usually ballpark na eight to ten years. Uh-huh. Ano ba ang mayyare pag senior partner ka na? You get a usually you get a share of the of the pie of the, of the profits of the office na hindi uh-huh. ka na just um, a wage earner. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. So this should be a goal for. Is it? it should it be? A, a parang industry standard na okay if you become a lawyer uh, let's just say um, 
kasi dami pa lang options i just answered my question in my head <laughs> pero uh, just for the the the, the millennials uh, if uh, you choose to go to a law firm kasi when you become a lawyer there's an option to be a prosecutor to be a judge mm-hmm. uh, but, pero when you go to the private sector uh, ang goal mo ba is always to be a senior partner um no okay because a lot of um, lawyers who work in the law firms they also move out of the law firm they go to government or they go to um, corporations uh, they work as in-house counsel and that is also very uh, i don't want to use the word lucrative <laughs> pero that 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 has a lot of advantages then ba when, uh, when you're an in-house counsel yeah madami rin kasi they have um, more benefits more or, benefits and, because like some law firms they don't really cover all your needs like uh-oh. yung mga medical mo yung mga ganyan but okay. if you go for example to a multinational corporation uh-oh. they would they would have more um, benefits for the for their employees like uh-huh. insurance probably mga medical okay medical so coverage parang pag, like pag Procter and Gamble Uh, pag nag in-house ka you handle all their legal concerns ganyan and then in-house ka na sa kanila mm-hmm. any legal aspect or uh, any uh, legal questions they defer to you well um, yes but they also source out some of their um, legal work to law firms uh, because they they can't handle it all then okay okay uh, ako nga kasi may mga business tactics din dyan na Uh, some of the businesses hire most of the top-notch law firms mm-hmm. so that may conflict of interest <laughs> once uh, something if something comes up uh-huh. you can't get this law firm or you can't get that law firm <laughs> because they're an existing client oh mm-hmm. grabe and daming aspects on on being a lawyer i hope we can uh, raymond i hope uh, in the future you have some you, you still have time mm-hmm. para we can delve deeper into um, the the law law mm-hmm. law profession yeah sure, uh, sure para we can we can get into it more and also uh, I, i got surprised medyo hindi ko alam i-handle yung dj eh. <laughs> hindi ko alam yung genre niyo eh talagang kinakapa ako hindi ko mahanap eh hindi ko alam yung mga beats yung mga Coachella <laughs> pero that's very interesting you're you're definitely the most creative lawyer that i've met <laughs> No? and being a DJ I hope you can also pursue that <laughs> kahit pa paano because uh, bagay sa personality mo ito nga si Lester nagdi-DJ din oh, so it's it's always good to have something creative to to fall back on kasi parang outlet na rin siya eh no uh, it'll be so and, and I didn't know that that other guy was also a lawyer mm-hmm. and this is actually the first time I'm hearing uh, <laughs> lawyers go to the creative side kasi naririnig ko usually lawyers that are CPAs and doctors okay mm-hmm. so Raymond just for a, a closing statement no, to the uh, millennials the Gen Z the memory keepers and the subscribers um, you're uh, this is a uh, Uh, how do you pronounce the last name? Pasilyao. Pasilyao. Ano ka ba naman, Lester? Hindi mo maalala. Pasilyao. <laughs> so this is Raymond, attorney Raymond Pasilyao. And uh, he's in the law profession. He specializes in intellectual, intellectual property. property law. Tama. Okay. Uh, any parting words? Uh, you can look at the main camera or your camera. I think okay din sa camera mo. Uh, any any parting words for the millennials and the Gen Z uh, regarding the law, uh, uh, whether they should get into law or not? Well, hello millennials. If you're thinking of going into the legal profession, please do because um, our country needs more lawyers. Uh, for There are 100 million in the Philippines 100 million people in the Philippines, but there are only 40,000 lawyers. So that's a ratio of uh, one lawyer for 2,500 people. And, uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of cases and in, in the clogging our courts and we need more people uh, in, uh, in judgeship positions, in government positions, and of course also in, in private practice to help, uh, to help everyone <laughs> with their legal problems. So... Um, consider it and and I wish you good luck. Okay, if they have any questions, but is it possible to? Because uh, uh, now when people watch this, some some might ask, "Sa ang kuba ma, sa ang kupo ba ma ko contact si uh, Attorney Raymond? Uh, is there any uh, 
a way they can get in touch with you. Alam mo naman kasi yung mga memory keepers namin, um, hindi sila sanay minsan sa email. No? Mm-hmm. Usually, is, is there oh. is a social media platform ah. where they can ask you, is it possible to <laughs> ask you on, on Facebook? Is it possible to ask you on Instagram? Uh, is there any way that they can reach out to you? Well, my my Facebook page is my name. Okay. Uh, Raymond Pasilyao. Is it uh, is it enabled? Can they send you a message? Um, yeah, just send me a message uh, oh. at, at my Facebook page. Okay, so we'll flash it. Uh-huh. We'll flash it, Raymond Pasilyao, <laughs> on Facebook. Uh-huh. On Instagram, do you have Instagram? On Instagram, I have an Instagram account. Uh, it's rgp underscore archives. RGP underscore archives. archives. Yeah, I just put their photos of um, tra- my my travels and Uh-oh. food. Pwede ka ba nila guluhin yeah. doon? Of course. Okay. Of course. So pag I'm may... looking actually for more followers in my Instagram. Oh, <laughs> ayun naman pala. That's <laughs> where we follow. can... Ah, ayun naman. That's where we can help you. Okay. So, uh, RGP underscore archives. Tama? Yes, correct. Okay. We'll flash that on the screen. And Memory Keepers, uh, if you want to follow, it's an open account. Yes, it is. Okay. So, it's an open account. You can easily follow. And if you have any questions when it comes to the legal profession, you can just ask Attorney Raymond. Wag naman kayong sobrang uh, to the point na halos freebie na yung service na inahan <laughs> natin. Lahat natin nanong nyo. Uh, just ask regarding when it comes to the law profession if this is something that you guys will consider in the future. Well, Attorney Raymond, thank you very much for coming. This was uh, such an uh, insightful for me, no? A very insightful uh, 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 podcast because I never really saw the creative side of lawyers and, and people in your profession. I Thank hope you for having me. Uh, it's our pleasure. I hope. I hope we can have you again <laughs> uh, because uh, it's it's uh, one hour, uh, an hour and a half is not enough. Mm-hmm. No, I hope we can have you again and uh, hopefully in the near future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, Raymond, we'll just look at the main camera and as we say goodbye to the memory keepers who constantly watch uh, our podcast, uh, someone, please take me home. Okay. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's end it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hello, Memory Keepers. Thank you so much for watching our Spill the Beans podcast. Sana marami kayo natutunan, lalo na sa uh, law. Law profession. Law profession. Ig- uh, nakalimutan mo na yung guideline natin yeah. that English is preferred. So, uh, to all the Memory Keepers, yes. uh, Lester's alive na alive again. Yes. Okay. Alive. So, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for constantly viewing our content. And thank you for liking the uh, segment of Career Talk yes. here on Spill the Beats. And we'll see you soon. And thank you very much. Bye, Memory Keepers. Bye. Bye.